Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to learn about HTTP client put method. Whenever we have to update a particular existing record or data which is available in our endpoints via endpoint basically, uh, we use put method. So or you can also call it as update method. It's part of one of the CRUD operations. So whenever we have to update, we have to use HTTP client put method. Welcome back. My name is Sridhar. I have bring over 10 years of experience as a full stack developer and I'm here to share my knowledge on modern web technologies with you all. I'm also here to learn from you all. So during the course of this tutorial series or on code examples, if you have any doubts, any queries, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try and help you. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in bringing these tutorials for you. So I'll really appreciate if you can subscribe to my channel and like the videos. Thank you in advance. Like I said, this is part of the Angular 9 full tutorial playlist. There are now more than 55 tutorials in the, in the playlist. So if you really want to learn and master Angular 9, this is the playlist for you. The playlist link is in the description box below. Please do check it out. All right, so we are focusing on the mini feature series, which is on Angular HTTP. And so far we have seen about observable dependency injection services, HTTP client, get method and post method. Today we will learn and explore about put method. A quick overview for viewers who are joining us new on this series. HTTP client is used for performing HTTP requests and responses in Angular. HTTP client service is available in the package Angular, Common and HTTP. The new HTTP client service is part of the HTTP client module, which means we need to include HTTP client module in our app module. Remember friends that if you do not include the HTTP client module, you will see errors. So this is a common mistake that a lot of developers will do. Make sure you don't do it. That being said, let's talk about HTTP client put method. So whenever we make an API call to an endpoint to update an existing record or a resource, we refer to it as a put call or a put method. Some also call it as an update method. To make a call to an endpoint, we have to use a method called dot put and it takes two mandatory parameters. One is the URL and the other is the body. When I say body, it is the new data that needs to be updated for that particular resource. We can also pass various parameters like headers, params, response type, with credentials, etc. Since it's an HTTP client uh, call, the response type that we will receive will always be an observable. If you are not sure about what is observable, how to work with it, I have covered that in the previous tutorial, so make sure you check it out. Since it's an observable, we will have to subscribe to it in order to process the data, which we will do now. All right, before we get into the hands-on examples, uh, let me tell you that uh, HTTP client put method will accept HTTP headers and params just like get and post. So these are common to all these HTTP calls. We will cover that in the next coming sections, but for now the focus is to learn how to make a HTTP call put method. That being said, I will give you six simple steps that we need to follow to implement HTTP put method. The first step is to import and add the HTTP client module in our app module. Once we have imported the client module, we are good to use HTTP client. The second step is to import the HTTP client into our service or component wherever we are making the HTTP calls. Remember that it's a good practice to always have all the HTTP calls in our services. That makes it much easier to maintain and it's also reusable. Once we do this, we then have to create an instance of uh, the HTTP client in our constructor. Then we implement the put method and finally we will call it into the component wherever we are trying to use it. These are the six simple steps. Now we will start coding it. Again, I'll request you start the best way to learn is to code with me. 
and if you have any doubts during that let me know i'll be happy to help you now let's start coding and also start making some notes as we code along let's get started all right so let me make notes for you on http put method so first we will have to import the http client module so import http client module into our app module this i have already done it right so this is as part of the last tutorial we have done it let me show you here first okay so this we have already done in previous episodes so if you are new if you are new here please do check previous videos okay but just i'll walk you through it how to do that so open app dot uh, module dot ts and we will see http client module right so we have the http client module that we imported from angular common http right and then we imported it into our app module remember without which it will give you error right so it's absolutely important that without this it will give you error so make sure that you have to absolutely import it correctly without this step you will see errors a lot of developers a lot of developers miss this step and see errors okay make sure you don't do that all right so that's the first step the second step is to go to our service right which is what we created in the previous episode which is contact service.ts right so we will make use make use of this service we created earlier in earlier episodes so again make sure uh, you are following those tutorials to have continuity continuity in learning okay so we have the service created i will go to contact service.ts and here you'll see that we have imported http client right again this is from angular common http so we have imported http client and then we have created an instance of it in the constructor so we have to import that service and create an instance of it once we have created the instance now we are good to start implementing our method which is our put method right so let's update that also here once we have done it import http client into our service right and create an instance of the same right so once you have done it you start here we can start we can start implementing our put method now but before i do that let me show you what we have done so far in the previous episode so that way you know that what we are trying to achieve here right so let me go to our application and we built a simple component nothing fancy just simple which will read through uh, the list of contacts right and we can add a contact right so I'm going to little bit jazz it up here. Uh, that way we know that what we are trying to update, right? So I'll keep it simple just so for your learning purpose and maybe in the coming episodes, I'll create a complete CRUD operation, which will teach you about how to do it end to end in a beautiful screens, right? So let's see that first. So what we need to do, I am going to use Postman. Uh, that tool will help us in getting it. So if you see, and just say get here and send it will list us all the contacts that are there right it will give us all the contacts which are available with their ids and now i'm saying that i want to update so i'm going to use a put method so i'm going to say update slash the id which is five which is this test right our tutorial with post now i want to update it and make sure that the last name goes with put so we will use put method here and here i'm going to say tutorial with put and we can send the data so now it will update and now it says the last name is tutorial with put because it has updated it and just to make sure that it has correctly updated 
I'm again going to my browser and I'm going to reload this here and or I can just click get and say contacts. So it will return me all the contacts. Now I should see that for ID number five, the data should have been updated with put. So we can see is that it's working with Postman. So we will now replicate the same into our code, right? So for that, what, what we'll do is we'll go to our contacts service, right? And we will create a new method and say update contact. You can give any name to the method that you want, right? And just like how we did for just like how do we, just like how we did for post we will have to send data via form and send the form object with new data resource right so what we'll do here in the contact.service will say that i'm going to send updated data right updated uh, body Right, so that will be the input, just like how we did here for post. You remember, uh, we have to send the same data for update, and then we will just copy it here. It's simple, right? Or I can just type it for you. So we can say return this dot HTTP client dot put method. It will take two parameters, HTTP colon slash, or we can form the endpoint endpoint url equal to http then we'll say localhost colon 3000 slash contact slash plus i'll pass id so here now i'm saying so here i'm passing two um instead of id i can just call it and say uh, let's say this i'm going to call it uh, contact id right that's a much better id to give so here i'm going to say contact id and here i'm going to give this endpoint uh, okay cannot find name endpoint url so we need to make it a variable and inside this i'm going to point endpoint and here i'm going to give updated body right simple as that now see we are telling which contact id right which resource to be updated that's the id and then i'm going to make it a url to make the url with the update right and then i'm going to say return this dot http client dot put dot endpoint url which is this newly url and then i'm going to send the latest body to it right so again you can create a new component create a form and you can send the data for it and in this case I'm just going to make it simple. So I'm going to reuse it and I'm going to just pass it through the same method. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm not going to implement the entire form for you again. It's not worth it time. Uh, instead, I'm going to put, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, we'll do a CRUD operation very soon where we will implement entire thing with bootstrap uh, beautifully layout. The idea here is to only learn. So here I'm saying, update contact say three again this is something i am just saying it's a it's a stubbed value for now the idea again is to only see how to learn it so go to components and then update the method and put it here okay so here i'm going to make it contact id Right. So I have in the previous post also we had done this mock data thing. Remember? So just take that as it is. Okay. And here I'm forming that. And here I'll say contact ID. This is the same contact ID. And then you can pass the first name, last name usually that you will get from the form. Right. So we did that in post also, like how we did for making it dynamic. So similarly, um, we'll make it here and say uh, it's a new data that we want to update okay 
and then we will use our service which we imported here which is contact service in the component and we created an instance of it so copy this instance and then we'll say um, this dot or just say this dot contact service contact service dot now here we have to know which one we are trying to update so i'm going to say contact update contact and the first says the contact id so here we'll pass the contact id followed by the updated data which is nothing but our new form data right this one so now it will call and it will update so now if you see i'm going to make it and here i'm going to say okay so now i'm making it steve johnson right but let's see the data first in the ui so if you see when you run contacts you see it says first name is suresh appa uh, and then we are passing it in the template and saying for id number three uh, make it with steve johnson right so let's see it in the ui so here i have an update button usually what we'll do is we will have something like a form again you will do click and we'll see all that linking routing and everything but the idea again is to keep it simple and just update the data right so here you see it says suresh now i'll click on update contact it will become steve right so let's now again reload the page so okay so clearly something did not work uh, so since we did not subscribe to it so again we have to subscribe since it's an observable data okay and then we'll just say um, that let's just show the message and say that it was updated successfully right so once it is done let's see now click on update it says created updated successfully let's reload and now we see steve to see more details i'll go to my postman so now we see id is steve johnson right so basically it's on the same lines just like how we did post the only difference is here we have to pass the contact id and contact id is important because it has to know which resource it has to update without which it will not know right and that being said that is how we implement post uh, in any application we can also have multiple things like um, we can use headers we can use params just like how we have used um, here in the previously in the get and post so we can we can use multiple combinations of it we'll learn it later but for now uh, the idea for you is to start with simple endpoint have a endpoint have an id that you want to update and just simply update that so once you have it i think that would give you a big good idea of how to go about it right so don't worry too much start with simple start with basic get it working once you have it then we'll see details all right that being said that will bring us to the end of this tutorial i will cover http delete uh, in the next episode and then um, after that we will start with a complete crud operation right and where we will do a beautiful ui along with uh, the methods and routing linking and much much more so stay tuned for that and i hope you like the video if you have any doubts just ask me in the comment section below i'll be happy to help you thank you thank you for watching this episode see you in the next episode